Hey Clashers, we have an incredible match on our hands. Chess Mickey A versus F Ching, number one clan. And we have things. What? We have a really wild combination. We have Super Hogs, we have Regular Hogs, we have Super Barbarian. What is going on right here? This is going to be a crazy start already. And something we are seeing more and more in the pro scene at the moment is Super Barbarians. There are quite a few of those. And we have the Skeleton Donut for that core clan castle. He has to be careful that the Royal Champ or the Queen is not attacking that clan castle. Take a look at the Builder Huts. They're trying to repair it back up. It's going down up. The HP are everywhere. But the building is going down. Okay, so that's a heavy investment already in the beginning. He has not taken care of any other buildings. And now there's a blimp going in without a rage. Is he getting? Yes, he gets that multi in front of tower, which is incredible value for him. Now the question is, what is the next step? Hmm. Not gonna lie, kind of excited for this next step because the army looks super wide. I mean, we have seen the twin hogs already, but typically we see way less super hogs and well, a queen charge or something before that. But having pretty much only the Super Hogs and then regular Hogs and Super Barbarians is going to be really fun. My guess would be that we're going to see the Super um, Barbarians with this hero dive together. And the question is, do you think the King will get that Town Hall? Um, he has a freeze, he is going to invest it. But the King ability ran out, which means the Rage is not there anymore. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Town Hall is going down, the King has gotten that. All of those red mines are getting triggered, but it does not matter. And we have only 30% of the base down with 1 minute and 30 seconds still remaining. And now we have the Super Hogs going in. So one Super Barbarian, but the Queen is having all the value she was going for, I guess. We have one Earthquake, which he uses for all of those high HP buildings. Royal Champion is in the mix as well as all of those Hogs and this Bomb Tower is going to deal quite a bit of damage. There's the phrase, Queen for now is alive, but I think versus the Mutant Front Tower, she's going to go down. More Hawks are reinforcing the outside. He has one more phrase to go. Is it going to be enough to take down this base? So far, the Super Hawks are just going through this like it's nothing. They are just so strong. We have Super Hawks, we have Super Hawk Riders, we have regular Hawk Riders, we have everything right here. And the Royal Champion, that's the key thing about this. The Royal Champion is staying well protected. And I feel like this is the key thing right now. Why people are always preferring only Hogs about the old hybrid. Because with the Miners, with the Super Miners, they're all going underground. And this means the Royal Champion is not as well protected as we have seen in this attack. The Royal Champion has not even really lost a lot of hit points. I mean, yes, yes, used the ability, but still. Incredible first attack. And Chess Mickey A are starting off with a 3 star. Wow, what an attack. Okay, f number one with their first attack, and this is actually a hybrid. Th the one thing I was just talking about, okay, it seems like that they're listening or something. And we have a queen charge hybrid, and we have the apprentice warden with that queen together. I mean, everyone knows that I'm not a huge fan of the apprentice warden. Let's just hope that he survives for longer than the normal 10 seconds, because he is really... A troop which likes to run into all of the damage, okay? That's what is his signature move to do. Let's just hope that he's going to survive for now. Maybe the freeze. There is the freeze. Nicely timed. The good thing about this is that the queen and the warden, they have the same range. There is a lot of damage. There's going to be a lot of damage on that queen in just a second. But for now, he's keeping her alive. He lost the ability, but hey, he's keeping her alive. There is another Rage, but the Prince Warden is down. It's always the question, is that worth it, the 20 housing space? I am not sure, I have to say. There's another Freeze happening. It's crazy how you can Rage up their Queen now in Tunnel 15, and it feels like it does not matter when there is a Rage Tower on defense. It is crazy. He has now invested every single Rage in his army. There's the Tornado Trap, rotating him towards the top side. That's where he starts with those Miners. The Hogs are coming in as well. The King is funneling nicely. The Siege Barracks is placed behind the King, and now the Clan Castle is coming out. I think it's pretty good timing for him because there's not too much damage on the Queen. The question now though is, is the Hybrid going to split too much, or is it fine with how it is at the moment? 
Again though, I feel like the biggest issue now with hybrid is with all of those heal spells because it feels like they're not as efficient anymore on Tarnal 15 with just those rage towers bursting through the like through the troops like it's nothing. It's crazy. Queen still dealing with the clan castle. Royal Champility as an expo and the Mutant Fire Tower is on her. And there are the reinforcement hog riders. No super hogs, just re regular hog riders. They're going straight for the Expo. That would be crucial to take that out because the Expo would be one of the defenses if it's going to lock onto that Queen, which might be problematic for her. And the Scatter at the moment is staying alive as the Queen is protecting it. He has a wall break. The King and the Pack are going to go in there as well. The wall break is coming in. What a genius wall break it is to get the Queen access towards those Multi-Time Front Tower and Scatter Shot and the Expo. But the King and the Pack, I feel like those are the main carries at this point. No abilities left at this stage. It's all about the back end. It's all about his heroes. The King has the Phoenix Act. He can tank. Maybe. And the Queen. Oh my god, how many hit points? They're nearly both full HP. This is going to be a crazy finish. The Queen, can she do that? If there is no Skeleton Trap, maybe. 8 seconds. 7 seconds. The Queen is trying. 5, 4, 3... Two, and it's going to be a three star, and it's going to be all tied up. Now we have as well the stats below me. I'm sorry that I did not bring them up earlier, but now we have, it seems like, a queen charge. Wait a second, a queen charge ladder with a skelly donut to begin with? What is this crazy black magic right here? He's going to take down those defenses with the bad donut? Wait, is he going to get everything? Ooh. No way! The Expo is staying up and I feel like he wanted to get more out of this. The question now is, was this investment worth... Oh no. Oh no, is the Queen going to... The Queen nearly died through her ability because of three freaking shots from Rage Up Warden. If that is not broken, I don't know. Like, the Rage Towers are just beyond broken at the moment in Clash of Clans still, even though they were... Were they nerfed? I don't even like... Whatever, but it's just crazy how freaking strong they still are and they i really hope they're going to get a nerf at some point again because it is just not fun having like one defense forcing the entire like it is it is just ridiculous at this stage but whatever we have the queen one shotting that expo and she now has to somehow deal with this getter he's going to risk it it seems like not using any spells whatsoever but he has to as well he has already lost the queen ability and now he's adding the ladder from the top left side. Is he going to use the rage there? That's the question. Red mines are getting triggered. The tornado trap is there as well. The queen for now is safe because there's not too much damage. We have the freeze, but we have the black mines there as well. The yetis are in there trying to go for the tower. Another freeze is invested, which means the queen at this point is not going to get any spell support whatsoever. Yeti mites, can they take down the town hall? Oh, yeti mites. No shot, the town hall is staying alive and Heroia is going to have a really big problem right here. And without the queen ability, this queen is going to go down and he has to now try to save this. What a really cool idea, I mean the bad donut queen charge, it's like something I have never seen before, kind of inventing this new strategy, which is really nice, but... Oh boy, the town hall has to be saved, there's the royal champion now, I am not sure if that was a well place royal champ she might go for the tesla if she does that this attack is going to be really really problematic but no she's following the instructions going for the tunnel but is that even going down wait a second the monolith is on her and that might be a one so no way there's no more loons coming in all of the loons are going in he's trying to get all of them in everything into that tunnel to make sure the inferno tower beams the tunnel beams are distracted everything is going for the second star the loons the headhunter the everything is the tunnel going down? Is the tunnel going down? Yes, no, maybe, and yes! The second star is here. Oh my goodness. Whew, that was not even close. Oh my gosh. Well, two star secured, but not high percentage. FG number one, they could get a big lead if they three star this. And let's go, we see a Titan recall smash attack. I love those attacks. I'm still like... I'm, on my own using the recall super boulder attacks there's going to be a video really soon out of those again but i have to say those recall smashes or like those queen shot recall smash attacks they are just so fun to do it's crazy but it's not going to be easy now for him to really make sure that his 
Flameflinger is staying protected because this is what this is all about. He has to make sure it's staying protected. Now we have the Rage at the top that he even invested that Warden to make sure this charge is going a bit better. We have now the Yeti tanking the next mortar for... Oh, wait a second. This spring trap was genius. Knowing that people try to distract mortars for the Flameflinger. What an incredible spring trap right there for Chesmek. And this flame flinger has lost quite a few hit points. It's going to get, it's going to get that scatter shot, but not much more. And now we have the warden queen record to this bottom side. The wall break into that base. We have no more wall breaks, which means two more jump spell have to be used to get further into the base. There's the first one, leading everything into that core. Now let's see, let's see how that works. We have everything going in. Everything so far looks fine. King is going in. Titans are going in. Great job of the funneling. Super minions at the bottom side. Oh my goodness. Perfect siege. All right. Clank out the troop choice right there because take a look at that. They're just not going down because this air expo, a uh, ground expo, is not targeting it at all. Queen is trying to follow towards the town hall. I feel like his titans were just going too far in front. And the healers were not switching, which means pretty much every single titan is down at this stage. The queen has to deal the damage. The queen has to do everything at this point. With the royal champion going around the outside. He has a few more spells to support that royal champ. That might still work. But the question is, is the monolith and the warden too much damage for his troops? At this point though, take a look at that. This king is tanking incredible for so many of those troops. The warden is getting targeted. There is the freeze now. Back end giant and cleanup wizards. Is that going to work? The queen ability, Roy Gem ability, just to burst through those two important defenses. And 40 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, FG number one getting the three star, even though of incredible traps of Jasmine EA. But I just love seeing so many of those recall charge smash attacks. They're just super fun to watch and play. And I know I repeat myself at this stage, but it's just. I don't know, I love it. It's it's really, really fun. 20 more seconds, that should be no problem as the last bidding is only this one storage. And this is going to be another three star. And they're taking the lead, at least for now. Yatta is in and no, I wanted to see his super bonus. Why is this guy never playing super bonus in those matches? I would just love to see it. But instead, he is going with the regular hard riders. As well, another apprentice warden. What are those guys doing? With, I, I, uh, I guess I would never understand it. I, I, maybe it's it's the troop which I just don't understand how to use it. Who knows? Whatever. But I think for now this queen seems to walk into the wrong direction. Hmm. Hmm. They're going to be. Oh, this slammer actually opened up the wall. That was pretty cracked. The question now though is with the air defense, where are the troops going? And I think the perfect direction for him, he even opened up the wall towards the core. The question now is, was that the plan? Because I feel like going straight into the core between two rage towers can be from time to time pretty deadly. I mean, <laughs> we have seen what one rage tower wouldn't did in the first attack or one of the first attacks. So going now in between of a lot of rage towers, it could be a big threat. We have now the Apprentice Warden just with that king together. Really interesting that he's investing 20 housing space for that. But hey, maybe as I said, maybe I'm just not understanding the value this Apprentice Warden provides. We have now the Queen really far inside the core and she's not really going anywhere else at this stage. Queen ability though can be used if you... <gasps> the Heaters! Queen ability! He saw it perfect. Really nice. Paid attention. He got the Queen ability off and because of that he got the Expo. And now we have the Hogs going for that Town Hall. Interestingly enough, he's having two Bomb Towers against him. That is a crazy decision. Going with those Hogs then and not investing anything else. The Headhunters are running through with the Warning Ability. They should, might be able to take down the Queen. That would be really, really smart for him. And really having a lot of value. And yes, indeed, the two Headhunters are getting the job done. But now it's about this top side. That would have been a skeleton, like a skeleton um, spell would have been really nice right here. But instead, he has the king now coming around. And remember, he still has the phoenix egg on it. So this could still be a thrace, or I think it should be, as the last phrase is coming in to give those hogs the opportunity 
to go into that scatter compartment. There's the Roche ability going for the scatter and the skeletons, funny enough. But with that, it's going down. And 25 seconds should be more than enough to finish off this base with the King alive, Roy Tim alive, and some of those hogs. So really great attack by Yatta getting the next 3-star in for Jasper Gia. And that's exactly what they have to do to stay in this match and make this match close with their last attack where they barely saved the second star. But what a great attack this was. Really nicely done. After number one, it's back to you guys. Okay, wait a second. We have E-Dragons. Let's go with a clone limp. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. First E-Dragon. Oh, those. No! Why would you take... No! Okay, I mean, he got the air defense. But still, why did he go for that? He would have chained the air defense. Uh, whatever, whatever. He knows what he's doing. Ho hopefully. Um, the Rage of Warden, though. Take a look at that. The Rage of Warden is pretty much like three shotting those E Dragons, which is insane. The Rage of Warden is no joke. I mean, this is one of the most dangerous defenses. We have now the Super Minion Blim. And this is like a classic. You land on top of the town hall, turn the town hall invisible, and then get all the value. This is pretty much what you do. And then. One more invisibility spell this time around, though he's not... Wait a second. Typically, you try to get the tunnel, but wait a second. Um, normally, you do not try to turn the tunnel invisible with your last invisibility spell. So, this one is getting tricky as well. We have yet another attack where the attacker has to save the day. The second star would be pretty important. Oh my goodness. Is the Royal Champion going for this Bitter Hut or for the Town Hall? Royal Champ, go for the Town Hall, please. Go for the Town Hall. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, no, yes. The Royal Champ going for that Town Hall. Super, super important. And wait a second. Maybe he can still save this. Maybe he can still turn things around with having one more invisibility spell to use. The Royal Champ ability might be not forced versus the Town Hall. Depends, Royal Champ ability. Oh, no. Wait, actually, Diggy took down the town on that's why the Royal Champility had one more chain, one more bounce, and this is still getting, becoming a three. What in the, what was that? That was crazy. That was ridiculous. Insane right there. It's going to be another three star. Titan going down, but that's too late. Only the scatter shot. Yes, the invisibility spell to swag. What an attack that was. Ooh. Wrong. Three stars. Oh, we have lightnings. We have lightnings. Wait, Chasmic quite likes those openings with spells and then going in with a queen charge. It seems to be yet again another queen charge, but this time around with the lightnings, not with the bad donut, which we have seen earlier. That was some pretty good value. And now the question is, oh no, oh no. Healers, healers, come back. No, he deployed the healers too early. What is he doing? Puma, no shot. Okay, wait a second. The healers stay on the queen. Thank goodness. Okay, they have lost quite a few hit points because of the rage scatter shot sh shooting once at them. But, well, 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 well. We have the queen going around this side towards the, the eagle and then towards the multi inferno tower. That would be my guess. And then... The Lalo right into the town hall. He has the blimp. So that's really likely that he's going to use that for the town hall. Probably a Yeti blimp with a rage spell combined. This is like really common nowadays. So that will be just the, the guess based on what we have seen so far. The rage tower is actually slowly getting taken care of. That loon <laughs> against the sweeper. It takes some time. But hey, it is, it is okay. Queen now inside that warden range. And we have Yeti funneling the outside. Queen doing her thing. I think she's not getting... Oh, the funnel was too late. The funnel was a little too late. One minute and 20 seconds. He has to start soon. What is happening? What is happening? We have the eye sound going in. Warden ability really early on to make sure this blimp is getting towards the tunnel as quickly as possible. There is a ton of red mines. And the tornado trap, the queen at the same time, still going strong, taking down the eagle now. Town Hall should go down next with that Yeti Blimp, as we have mentioned it. We now under attack from the first Expo. Two Expos being left at this stage. Wait a second. 
if the rage is going off and the queen is inside or the healers are inside that mojo inferno tower that is really bad news for him the rage tower is going off and the queen is going for the wall congratulations that queen is not the smallest royal champion one more ability and that is a couple of more buildings but it does not look like a three star Chasmac are struggling versus the bases of FG number one FG number one are just keep smashing those bases at this stage it's all about the percentage they're trying to get more percentage but FG number one has already a big lead on the percentage game so well that is not going to end easy as long as Chasmac EA are not getting a really 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 good defense like a one star or really low percentage two star that's what they need let's take a look if that's going to happen oh super bonus let's go let's go okay so how is he going to approach this he has a regular warden in this combination as well that's quite interesting yeah quite interesting um how is he going to manage that he has no wall breaks whatsoever i mean that's why he has sneaky goblins in the army so that's why he can funnel there which is quite nice but let's take a look for now and how he's setting things up trying to funnel this left side trying to funnel this left side with that flame finger trying to find the top side with that warden and then trying to push into that core with the boulders that's going to be quite interesting how that's going to work there's the jump nice and early i mean at this stage the jump spell is going to last quite a bit quite a bit of time so you don't have to worry about that too much and now we're going to see in just a second the smash entering the base any second any second now yes there's the ice golem there's the regular golem there's the queen everything going in everything joining the party right here and we have even the king entering into this compartment the jump spell is already placed so he does not need to worry about that one golem running in front with that king together so the tanking is guaranteed but he does not have a titan and this hound now is pretty much the worst clan castle he could possibly get hound is gone and all of those super bowlers are inside that town of poison that is not good for him there is no skeleton spell to distract that monolith that is not really good i would say the healers are stuck on that queen and this is not looking good for fching number one we have said that I mean, Chasmak need a good defense. Question though now is, is this going to be a good defense? I mean, Queen is getting that monolith, is going to get healed back up, so the percentages are going to climb higher. And maybe this is going to be even saved on a really, really high level of percentage. Royal Champion trying her best. Queen is still going on the outside. She has not lost the healers just yet. Phoenix and Baby Dragon, they might fly in front and could trigger some traps. There's the first black man. One black man hits the healers. We need to see with her ability. So this should be really high on the percentage level. He's trying to force the queen inside. Is it going to work though? Is Yes, the queen is getting forced inside indeed. And this is high value for him. And this is nearly three starring. I mean, are you kidding? I feel like the Super Bowl has died within a couple of seconds inside that core. Because I think it was a really early warning ability, to be honest. But either way, it's not going to be enough to get a 3-star. Higher percentage, though, which is giving them a really solid position in this match. Jasmine EA need to 3-star at this stage and need to hope for an, a miracle. That's all what they can hope for. Okay, we have last attacker for Jasmine. We have the Queen, George Lalo. And we have the flame finger right there. Okay, okay. So, where is he going to use that? Where is he going to use that? Is he going to... I'm not sure. Okay, for the... For the scatter shot. What about the Roy champion? Is he just going to ignore that pretty much? I mean, I really want to love to see what the next step is. First off, raising the queen up. Perfect timing right there. Mortar is now on the... Oh, you... That is... Okay, not anymore. Mortar was on the Unicorn. Not anymore. Flamefinger now under attack. And it seems like that he's totally fine with just taking down the Mortar and the scatter shot Because I don't think that he's going to get too much more. The King now versus the Defending King. King versus King action. Queen is supposed to walk inside that compartment. Flamefinger should get that scatter or at least get it really low. You know... 
how much more can the queen get? I mean, my guess would be that the plan is to get those two multi inferno towers because I think that's really annoying to get through with the Lalo. But oh my goodness, is this going to be a long distance for the queen to travel to get that? Now we have the super minions taking down the royal champ and the defending uh, mortar. Are they even going to take? Yes, they're going to take down that royal champion. Now the Lalo starting. Clan Castle hasn't even come out yet, except a couple of Ad Hunters and a couple of Archers. So there could be anything in there. This Lalo is going to be a really, really tough task. The first Rage Tower is triggering Haste Spell to get into the first Mojan Inferno Tower, but the Hound is going to delay that Queen for quite some time. So he has to make sure that he's keep freezing this backhand Mojan Inferno Tower. There's another Rage for the Lalo, and somehow those dudes are not hitting any Red Mines whatsoever. Where are those Red Mines? It seems like they were behind the Town Hall or around the Town Hall to defend like Super Minion Blimps and stuff like that. But with the Queen being alive, having her ability, and the Roy Champion being alive with her ability, and 50 seconds left, somehow it's going to be another 3-star. So really, really nicely done for Hades, for Chaz Mackey A. They're getting their 3-star in at this stage. It's all about just hoping for a miracle, hoping for a 1-star or something. Otherwise, they cannot really win anymore. But they did everything possible to maybe have even a chance. Joan is in, and what is this? We have a twin hog with a one healer charge with a blizzard? Is this a blizzard? It seems like a blizzard. It is a blizzard, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, we're back seeing a blizzard attack. I love it. Is he going to get all the value he's looking for? I mean, at this stage, no one really is expecting a blizzard, so I love the fact that he's bringing it out is he going to get that eagle? Oh my god, the value. Take a look at that. Holy crap. That was some really, really good value right there. And now we have the one healer charge. Okay. What is happening right now? Um. What? Okay. Storage going down. Queen is... It sounds so wrong, but charging in with the one healer. And the queen is supposed to get the town hall, might that would be my guess. I mean, there's not a lot of damage, except the monolith, so he has to be careful with that. But for that, he has the skeleton spell if he wants to. He has the freeze if he wants to. So, um, that might be alright. And the funnel is set perfectly. I mean, the queen has no other choice than just go... Oh, that was not placed that well. I think it should have been placed a bit more towards the top side, but hey... It is what it is. The queen just does not need to go down versus the monolith. As long as that happening, it's fine. Okay, so he gets uh, that attack. Guys, what is that hero part? This has to be one of the most insane hero parts I have seen in a long time. Queen ability right there. What is happening? The king has tanked perfectly. The queen is getting the multi from the tower, it seems like. No. What? How is that? An oh, wait. Yeah. One, one toe. What in, was inside the range of that uh, monolith right there. Otherwise, the queen would, would have gotten that multi inferno tower as well. But this one toe changed everything. But now we have a couple more freezes. He could freeze the core. That's exactly what he's doing. Is he going to make it through this rage tower area? That's the question. Another freeze has been has been placed. Royal ability now, right there. Great defenses, guys. They are completely fine. They're completely balanced. Is he going to get it? No, it's going to be a fail. Or can... I mean, there is so many super riders. They can overpower this, right? He can make this work. There's only the monolith. And that should go down versus 10 millions of troops. If there's no giant bomb. Giant bomb, giant bomb. Tornado trap is going to be a problem as well. Not going to lie. But the Warden is clutching it up and it's going to be a 3 star. What an attack this was. This has to be the most crazy attack of the match. I mean, what in the world was going on here? Crazy match. I really hope that you enjoyed that because this match was really entertaining. 13 to 14 overall for those pros right here. Congratulations to FG number 1. GG's to both of those teams. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, see ya and... Bye-bye.